Dude, this is embarrassing, even for your standards. All of the night, I get them outside. Call them for me, yeah. Call them for me when you packed outside, yeah. Yeah. Back out, sex. I take no feeling when you back out. Welcome back, guys, to another video. Today, we're gonna be working on a Nissan Frontier. We're gonna be changing out the spark plugs and possibly the engine oil. Now, I've never worked on a Nissan car before, so today should be interesting. Um, hopefully it's not too hard, and hopefully we have all the tools. Hey. We're probably gonna end up having to go to uh, a store to get tools, because all my tools are specifically for like the E90. It's a GTR. So, uh, we're it's probably gonna have to go, but we're gonna at least try to do it with the tools we have now. Uh, and I'm gonna show you guys the spark plugs that we chose. By the way, this is not my car, so the spark plugs that they chose are not spark plugs that I chose. Um, we do so, not support their option of choosing those spark plugs. So if there are spark plugs that you would not put on yours, just know it's not me. It's the owner's choice. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on that. Gito doesn't even know how to open it. That's how high performance this vehicle is. All right, so as you can see by the cover, this has a V6, 4.0 V6. That is 1.0 away from a 5.0 in a Mustang. So this, this could possibly... I think Gito can compare it to... So this thing could possibly keep up with the 5.0. <laughs> it's a truck, Gito. <laughs> uh, this is a Nissan Frontier. It's an 06. Uh, short bed, four door. Um, wow, thank you for the info. <laughs> this is the same engine that they put in the GTR. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, let me look he up. He doesn't even know where to begin. <laughs> <laughs> I need to look up where to start and I'll get back to you guys. So the first thing you're gonna be doing is taking off that engine cover right there. So we have right here a 7 16th bolt. That's what you're gonna need right there. Go ahead, make sure it's on off. And start taking it. That's not the one you need. You need one below that. this guy. Basically what you guys want to do is you want to take off this cover right here. You got two bolts, boom, boom. What Max said. And right now we're trying to find the exact bolt size. And once you have that cover up, it should be easy. This is a V6, so you got obviously uh, three spark plugs on each side. It's a 4.0, so it holds four liters of gas in the engine at a single time. We'll get back to you once we have the correct bolt size. I'm curious, guys. Since this is a 4.0, and I think mine's a 2.8, who would win in a drag race? The yeah. E90? Or the truck. the truck. I think we need to do a drag race. We couldn't find the exact size that it was, so we're gonna go ahead and be using our universal socket. I highly recommend you get one of these. We'll be putting it in the description below on to get one of these because these are really helpful for tough situations like this. Yeah, uh, go ahead and ask your mom to get one for you because she's the one who got it for me. That's really sad. I didn't know this thing had a V6 to be honest. What'd you think? You gotta be V6 is it's not even a it's big. It's a 4.0. I mean, I meant 4.0. I can't believe if Gito saw a V8, would he just go like this? Like that's a 4.0, guys. I don't know if you know. And I drive this thing every week too. Nice. Take me home. Take me home. It's still and already, Gito, what do we have to do? We have to go to the shop. Yeah, I mean, because how big the engine is, they like put special bolts on to secure it. JDM, man, they don't play. This ain't JDM. Gito thinks just because it's from Japan, that means it's JDM. JDM. Chick-fil-A. JDM means, oh my God. Oh, okay. Is this guy good? So, what you suckers want, you guys want to Gito, Gito, restart. <laughs> Try that again. Try that again. Okay, okay. Um, what you guys want is a 10 millimeter. Because I'm like, simps. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this Nissan badge. You know, we should, this we looks. Should, we should black out the Nissan badge. To be honest, they didn't change it much from the 370 Nismo. It looks the exact same. I mean, they use the same engine. Yeah, they, same everything. They use the same intake. <laughs> Look at you, the little boot intake. Friend. See, that's how it is. United have a Ram air intake. Yep. That's why we're faster in 370 Nismos. Yeah, you know, just smoke them daily. Okay, it's getting a little bit too cocky now. And each E90 is different. The E90 and the E92 difference. One has a zip tie, one right, doesn't. Watch out, guys. Uh, this is crazy. There we go. Of course, there's no spark plugs there. Oh, come on. This is going to be a lot harder than an E90. Why? There's an image for you guys how Gito repairs cars. This engine is weird. It goes like. Wait, show them that. Show them it again, Gito, the way it goes. Yep. Like the E90 is just like. 
It would have been so much easier for them just to ride it, just like boom. But no, they had to go. Well, let's go over here, guys, and then let's go over here. They didn't want to show the. Here. They didn't want to show the extra space that they just had lying here. They like just simply. But if we take off this and we have to undo all of that, what the heck? Let's just take it to a shop. You know what, guys? End of video. Like Nissan was just like, let's make this the hardest engine oh, to work only, on. Actually, maybe not. There's only three spark plugs on each side. Uh, yes. I'm going to do the hard part first. Why wouldn't so, you do the easy part look, first? I might get it over with. You're going to need a socket to remove that bolt right there. Yeah, it's the same. They just use the same bolt. It's a 10 millimeter. <laughs> they just use the same bolt for everything. <laughs> Wait, be careful not to touch these two terminals at the same time. Yeah, if you, watch. We'll show you what happens when you do. Oh! Would you actually get electrocuted? Yes, you, you would. You would die. Then why do they keep them exposed like that? Why are they going to put a cover? No one's back here. Yep, nobody. All right, um, I'm going to look at the YouTube video real quick. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to remove this bolt right here. This bolt right here. Loosen this clamp right here. And loosen this clamp right here. I'm pretty sure it's the same size. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So, 10 millimeter for these guys, and this one is a smaller one. So go ahead and remove those. Oh, that scared me. God, I thought it was like, I was, I was inside, and then all of a sudden I heard that. <laughs> I was like, great, something's about to blow up in here. All right, guys, so after you guys remove that, now you're gonna remove your throttle or your um, air manifold. Uh, these are five millimeter uh, bolts, so go ahead and remove those. Yeah, Max, you can't play. That's two races, I just realized. Usually, you get, you get the BH and stuff like that. Usually, <laughs> on special occasions. And what's, this is a, I guess. Do you even know where it went? No, that's that's where it was. You gotta be kidding me. And Nissan was just like, there we go. Performance. All right, guys, so after you remove these four bolts, Go ahead and plug this line right here. Go ahead and remove the support bracket right there. There's another one right there. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, guys, guys, we're, guys, guys. Show, remove show this me. tube right here. Show me. And then you're gonna remove this support bracket right here. And these, I believe, are seven millimeter bolts. One right there. And then another one that's under here. Yo, show me. Follow me on TikTok at MA Rebel. Let's give him a snippet of what we're No, don't follow him. You guys might think that this truck is not meant for racing. Well, Good. They actually put the place it came in on the Le Mans race. Came in second. Nissan Frontier came in second. Better believe it. And Quito thought it was. So uh, something big happened. Wait. <laughs> Would you be wait? Quito thought he was a. Bro, what the heck? Okay, so the engine exploded on him. That's not going into big day. All right, guys. Uh, this is actually taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, changing spark plugs is for some reason a lot harder on a V6 or Nissan just likes to make it complicated themselves So I would really suggest just buying a new motor. I wouldn't even keep this thing put it in line six. It's way better You have to take off the intake manifold to change your spark plugs uh, So Whoa, 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 <laughs> Gito scared the V6 that's a V8 So this guy right here you want to unplug that guy right there you want to unplug that, that guy, guy right, right there. there, you want to unplug. Be careful with that one because that one sprayed cooling all over me. Yeah, get you a, a real representation of what happened with Gito. <laughs> God, he runs over here. It's not even hot. And I say, Gito, you're on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm like thinking his bot. Uh, what's his name? Uh, <laughs> the, the, the dude from Shake and Bake. And then you want to do the bracket right there. Bracket right there. And you want to take off that bracket over there. You can look up the bolts yourself. Man, he's not even helping you now. And he's done. I hate this engine, so just hurry up. That bolt right there, that bolt right there, and that bolt right there. How so, is that a good... Okay, for real, show him where the bolts are. Next thing you want to do is you have to remove the intake manifold. Um, so... He still really hates this car. You have... I think there's 10 of these. One right there, and the one right there. Ten? And they're all the way around. So go ahead and re remove those. I'm going to do that right now. Here's the coolant that's sprayed everywhere. Die, give you guys a good look. All right, put it back up. Put it, put it. All right, so we're gonna have Max here uh, try to remove the intake manifold. He's gonna do all 10. Yeah. Let's see how he does. We'll give him a performance review afterwards. Keto, I'm, I'm trying home. to drink my water. What no, is your I know you're trying to get a reaction for TikTok. Look, guys, we're never working on another Nissan again. Like, we're either, we're either, 
we're telling the customer you can't bring this here anymore because this is too much. I would have already been done with the spark plugs in my car. No, no, we could have done 10 on, on an E90 right now, like 10 spark plugs. But regardless, the intake manifold is off. So now we have access to the three spark plugs on this side. So go ahead and remove the bolts. There's only one per spark plug, so I'm gonna remove those right now. Do you jump the uh, front here? Ah, like... There's ants. No way. <laughs> okay, so we have the coil out. Go ahead and get your spark plug socket, stick it in there, unscrew it. We have to go back to the house because I don't, we don't have a spark plug socket here. Well, how are you supposed to do that? Walk? Good stay here. I don't want to stay here. You too. All right, guys. Um, so I don't know where my spark plug socket went. So we're going to have to go down to uh, Best Buy. I mean, we're going to have to go down to Home Depot and buy a spark plug socket. Be aware when we left, when he left to go get it, he's like, trust me, Max, I know exactly where it is. So, let's head down there right now. All right, guys, so we're here at AutoZone right now. We're going to see if they have that uh, that spark plug adapter. So, let's go see. Oh, you see me getting Oh, my God. They don't see it shaking. Okay, so for all though, we need to get blue LEDs. That would be sick. You guys want to see the difference between regular bulbs and LEDs? They probably put a relay switch so this gets it faster. This the reason I'm alive with it. All right, we got our deep socket. So you're gonna need a sorry. Uh, what? You're gonna need a five eighths deep socket for your spark plug. So now we we have it. Let's head back. Man, look at that truck. Let's finish it up because we're uh, starting to run out of daylight over here. We're pretty far in the process, really. Huh? Look, they only took the 4.0 badge. All right, let's get all this stuff. Oh, someone spilled cooling everywhere. So basically, guys, we're at the point where everything is is off. And now we just have to um, remove the spark plug socket. So grab your spark plug socket and start twisting. All right, guys. So we went ahead. We got the first one out. Now, for some reason, these don't like... Apparently these are not metal, I think, because it doesn't, it's not magnetic. Maybe this isn't magnetic. Um, so it's pretty simple. What I did, you just uh, unscrew this bolt right here, unscrew this bolt, and this thing slides out. So go ahead and do the rest. Yeah, it's not magnetic. Jeez. All right, guys, he Iridium bought- Iridium power. <laughs> Iridium power. The spark plugs. <laughs> this looks like I just got it from the toy section of Best Buy over here. The spark plugs that were chosen are Denso Iridium Power. Wow, look, it's even in Japanese, so you know it's JDM. This, this looks like my laundry detergent. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go ahead and put that in. Iridium Power. Look, I'm gonna throw it a, a comparison. Look, here is the old one. Get that to focus. And then here is the new one. So as you can see, Which the tip on the new one is a lot sharper. So let's go ahead and install it. Cause you basically follow what I did backwards, not that hard. Thread backwards, little secret of mine. There we go. Oh, oh look up the torque specs for uh, this engine. A DCL? What, a GTR engine? Yeah, GTR. GTR? GTR. Engine, uh, a spark plug torque spec. It says 200 foot pounds of torque. GTR. Torque spec. Torque. T O R Q U E. Eight foot pounds of torque. Okay. No, spark plug torque is 18. Okay. 18. 18 foot pounds? This is a copy. What was the foot pounds, Max? 15. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna torque down your what are they called? Spark plugs. Now you're gonna wanna torque down the, your spark the, the, the sparky thingy. <laughs> 15 foot pounds, right? Yep. All right, so now you're gonna to wanna to torque wait, down wait, your- Wait, it says four. For the uh, manifold, you know, the screw manifold. Now you're gonna to wanna to torque down your spark plugs to 15 foot sure pounds. 15 foot pounds, so torque them down. 18 foot pounds, 18 foot pounds, it's 18 foot pounds. Never mind, it's 18 foot pounds, Max. Sparky things. 18 foot pounds, torque them down to 18. You're not gonna believe me, but it's 19. It's 18, it's 18. Next step, you see this? Just grab it and plug this guy back in like 
So, boom. Screw them back in, do it for all three. Matter of fact, repeat the process for the other side as well. These ain't no gas jeans. I might pull up at the hall, looking like, you know. Well, guess what? I pull up over here, my 320, and I ain't got no power. But everybody's still over here, and I still be over here, and everybody be over here. Yep. I'm actually pulling up in his M2. Everybody be looking, right, but you got me. <laughs> okay. You guys want to see a simp? Okay, for real though. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so Insert fake laugh. Guys, we've gone ahead and we've changed the spark plugs, right? We got them in. We got the old ones out. We got the new ones in. And it just kind of went like, bah, bah, and we got them in. So, get y'all explain to them what we're doing next, my brother. All right. So, our supercharger is coming in tomorrow. Uh, so, we're going to just. We're just going to. Spark plugs are changed. It's all in. So now we're gonna put everything back. Start the oil change process. Let's roll the cinematic. All right, guys. Uh, it's laid out right now. Uh, we just finished draining the oil from the car we finished torquing back up the drain plug so right now max is currently filling the car up back with oil i believe the engine oil capacity is 5.4 quarts so uh, we have a box of oil that we're going to pour in um this took a lot longer than expected uh, this was our first time working on a different car besides bmw so it's a little bit more difficult just because it's our first time working on this car but we were able to get the spark plugs changed out, which is good. And now we're doing the oil. The oil is a lot easier because you're just draining off the old oil and then replacing the oil filter. Um, but it took the whole day because we started like around 12 and right now it's like around seven. Um, so let's get back with Max over there. How are we doing over here? Stressful. He's pouring in oil. Each of these containers has one quart. So we're gonna throw in five, I believe. This is the box we have right here. Boom. This is the box. I'm gonna throw it on the floor so you guys can see it. It is Mobile One Zero W20. We're gonna throw five in there first and then check the oil level. This is Max's first time pouring in oil. No, third time. I did not expect changing spark plugs and doing an oil change to take the entire day. James is just laughing how long it takes us. All right, so far we have poured in cuatro. So, and we're gonna pour in one more for cinco. How are you feeling about this? I'm tired, I'm gonna drive. I hate V6s though. Yeah, that's why I stick with inline sixes. No, I like the tunes. Can you imagine changing spark plugs on a V10? Uh, yeah, it'd be very complicated. All right, so let's check the measurement. Checking the oil like this is like so weird. I usually just use my screen. All right, let's dry this off. Yeah, I think you just stick it back in it. Dude, when this, ugh, this is what happens when you have generation. I think we're good. We add a little bit more, right? Do we want it to, to there? So let's add a little bit more. Or like three eighths of one, I think is what we need. What the heck? Why don't they just use screens? So I think we're good. That's geese. Dude, it's a boat. Clothes, really? You put it in the wash? Yeah, we good. All right, let's uh, put the cap back on. Just like that. And I think we can start her up. We have three extra bolts, not bad. Dude. What? <laughs> no, two go to here. Yeah, where's the third? We don't need the third. Oh, uh, it goes right here, I think. I hate Nissan. I hate Nissan. Fit in here. Holy. 
Did you hear that? And you dropped that one, great. It's no. Like, me, I don't think it's necessary. It's just like an extra part. Yeah, really, it is. <laughs> Nissan, they gave extra this generation. Like, where would it go? And also, you dropped the wrench. I'm never working on Nissan again. We just take this thing to James. He can work on Nissan. When we give it to him, he's like, why are there so many parts missing? And why are well, half of these screws mismatched? James, don't ask questions around here. Where'd my wrench go? I told you, you dropped it. You know what's the difference? Do we yep. just have an exhaust pop? We're good. Where'd the extra bulk go? Huh? Where'd the uh, extra... Well, where's the extra uh, igniter thing? If you guys want to know what happens when you throw a spark plug at a rock, you're about to see. Alright guys, so we have successfully changed out the spark plugs and the engine oil and engine filter. Uh, that took a lot longer than expected. It took the whole day. Um, but yeah, so now we know how to work on Nissan Frontiers a little bit more now. Uh, the next video is probably going to be doing the radiator fix on the E90. I know I said that be before this video and I know I said that before the other video, but I promise you guys the next video is going to be that one. Alright guys, next video we're fixing another car, we're not doing the E90. And after we fix the radiator, hopefully we're going to be moving Hopefully, <laughs> after we fix the radiator, hopefully we can move on to other mods on the E90. Uh, specifically, maybe putting spacers in, maybe wrapping, doing the bumper, uh, but maintenance before mods. Always remember that. No, not supercharger. Maintenance before mods. Uh, I also want to take it down to Wednesday Night Drags one of these days so we can get a quarter so mile get, time. So he can get absolutely slapped, okay? Get a quarter mile time for you guys. Get slapped by the but, truck is maintained which is a good thing because that's a money maker right there that's our new slogan guys hashtag maintained maintenance before mods uh, so we're gonna try to get, find a way to get this thing back home and this thing back home so uh, I will catch you guys in the next video